Alright, this time in the Quick Speed Shop, I'm going to do another tool review. It's the Pittsburgh Vacuum Brake Bleeder. I bought this at Harbor Freight. We're going to try it out. I got a 1940 Mercury that has the master cylinder in the frame rail, uh, lower than the wheel cylinders in the rear end. I want to try to get fluid in my rear brake system. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to open this guy up, and we're going to use it to hopefully bleed the rear brake system using vacuum. So stay tuned. We're starting right now. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Okay, let's go ahead and open the sucker up here. Don't be scared, just hack right into it. Huh. All right. Oh, look at that. Comes with instructions hidden in the cardboard. There's a pro tip for you. There's instructions hidden in the cardboard. There we go, it's item 63391 from Harbor Freight. I can't remember what I paid for it because I bought it like two months ago, but it can't be that expensive, probably less than 40 bucks. Let's see here, we got the vacuum pump here. You can see as I suck on my finger that it makes some, uh, makes some vacuum there. We have some miscellaneous tubing, we got the container here which comes with all the fittings or in the container so I got various T fittings the suction cup uh, kinds of other things here so I need to get something that can go in a wheel cylinder so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got look at the instructions Right, it's telling me this one here, this elbow piece, is the one for the, the brake screw on the uh, wheel cylinder. So we'll go ahead and we'll stick that in there. Bam, like that. And then we take the, uh, this is labeled 2 pump. And that goes to the vacuum pump, so I'm going to stick this on the outlet. With the suction side, or the wheel cylinder side. I'm going to stick, appears to be two different sizes, no, nope. it's tight like a tiger. And then, uh, just for the sake of having this thing have all kinds of room, I'm going to use the long hose on the, uh, the gun itself as well. Check that out. Get on there. Right, this will suck the fluid from the uh, wheel cylinder into the container there. Let's just watch this. I'll put some vacuum on it. You can see it pulls vacuum with my thumb again so you know I got a seal. So now we'll go under the car We'll crack a bleeder, we'll stick this on the bleeder of the wheel cylinder, and then we'll, uh, I'll make sure I got fluid in the master cylinder, then we'll, we'll stick some va vacuum on it and see what happens. Oh, hold on, there's something stuck in here. What is this? Oh, I had a piece of plastic in there holding the handle. There we go. Now we got full action. Full action. Look at that. Full send. All right, here we go. I got my rear, uh, drum brakes on this car and I'm going to pull the wheel that is the farthest away from the master cylinder so it's a right rear wheel so I'm going to pull through that first I'm just going to loosen up the bleeder here I can take the vacuum pump and attach it to the bleeder I'm simply going to start to draw some vacuum on here you can see on the gauge now it'll probably drop down a little bit because that bleeder screw is loose in the in the uh, wheel cylinder a little bit, so it's not going to make a really tight seal. But I can pump this up. And I also made sure to make my sure my master cylinder was full on the rear the rear brake reservoir. So I'm going to just go ahead and 
pull some vacuum on this. We'll see if it sucks any fluid. I went and I worked the brake pedal a whole bunch of times and I put some fluid in. I'm just starting to see a little bit of wetness coming into the uh, hose here. So it's starting to uh, starting to do something. I got a feeling I'm going to have to pump the brake pedal and pump the vacuum pump to get fluid to go past the residual pressure valves. But I can see a little bit of fluid starting to do something here. It's pulling air through. I mean, this is a lot of... A lot of volume I gotta go with this line. All right, I got some uh, fluid at my driver's side uh, wheel cylinder. I just cracked the bleeder and some fluid was there. So I'm gonna crack it and we're gonna use a vacuum pump and see if we can, uh, uh, see now we got fluid running down the line. Oh yeah. See my fluid. Okay, I feel a little uh, a little dumb here. I didn't, uh, I wasn't opening the bleeder far enough. So let me draw some vacuum on this and I'll get this open in farther. You hear it sucking air there? It's, it's taking it now and it brought some fluid in. Got some more in the hopper. Put the hopper up where you can see it. Oh. Need like seven more hands here, but I've got some fluid in the hopper now. So this appears to be. There we go. It's sucking air. So I just wasn't open the bleeder far enough and it wasn't making things happen. So let me, uh, I'm still got to do my same process where I got to pump it up. And hold it's just like bleeding bike brakes regular but this is drawing the air out of the system so i can hold vacuum with the bleeder open then close it and not have any air go back in that's what the beauty of the vacuum is see i'm still holding a little bit of vacuum even though the bleeder's closed um so that that allows you to not have air sucked back into the system i guess that's what the one of the perks of having this is oh yeah there we go I'm going to close it, pump it up again, do it one more time. So you can see it's still it's still drawing quite a bit of air, but it, it's working now. When I'm and when I'm pressing my pedal, my pedal is getting firmer, so I know that it's starting to to work out good there. But so this is this is the beauty of this thing. Um, it allows you to hold pressure on the on the or hold vacuum on the bleeder when you open it, so you don't suck any air back into the system. So that that seems to work out good. I don't know if you can suck uh, fluid all the way through the system. It didn't. I'm not sure if you can continually flush it with that. Okay, so what did we find out with the Harbor Freight vacuum bleeder? I mean, it seemed to work and did what it did. I sucked all this fluid in. By using it to uh, bleed through those bleeders and uh, once I figured out that I didn't have the bleeders opened up all the way to let the fluid in it seemed to work pretty good I mean the beauty of this thing is it's pretty much as cheap it seems to work all right and it uh, allows you to hold vacuum pressure on the bleeder so you don't get any air back in your bleeding so if you're doing it yourself it works out good I mean you can also use this thing it's a it's a brake bleeder but you could also use this to suck any type of fluid that you wanted out like you could suck the fluid out of the master cylinder to change it over. You could suck probably power steering fluid out of a power steering pump with it. Anything that you could suck into this into this reservoir, it would work out fine. So for whatever this costs, I forget to look it up. I'll, I'll put it in the description when I go and make the video. But it seemed to work out all right. I've, I've never used one of these before. And uh, sometimes it's nice to just go around the store to corner and buy something at the store. It's cheap and works good. So it's the uh, Pittsburgh Brake Bleeder from Harbor Freight. Seemed to work out all right for what I was doing with it. And uh, yeah, it's, leave a comment below if you had any uh, trouble with it or if you used it before, what other things you can use it for, let me know. And uh, it's not too bad. I like to have tools in the arsenal. And this is, seems to be one that will come in and, and be useful to do some things when you need to uh, put some vacuum action with a canister. So there we go, a little review on the Pittsburgh Brake and vacuum bleeder from Harbor Freight.
So thanks for watching. This is a quick speed shop. I put out videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Tool reviews, hot rod builds. I'm doing all kinds of stuff here. So make sure you subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you right here again at the quick speed shop.